Hello everyone, it's me JP from Unique Tutorials. Today, in this video, I'll show you how to forcefully remove any apps that can't be uninstalled in any non-rooted Android smartphones. So, without further more delay, let's begin. So, right now you can see my Android home screen, right? So, let me show you. Say, I have here one, two applications. Say, this is a Netflix and OneDrive, right? So, let me tap on it and let me go to the app informations. Now you can see below there is no uninstall options even you can see there is a force stop or disable only so i can't remove this application and even if i tap on the three dot icons on the right top corner when you can see here it's only retained that uninstall update so i can uninstall only the updates of this application but i can't uninstall it completely so let me show you again the other application that is the onedrive so let me go to this app information so you can see here also I can't remove it and similar the same case like the before only I can uninstall the update so I want to remove this both this unremovable applications that is present on my Android smartphones so right now my Android smartphone is non-rooted so this tricks will gonna work with both the non-rooted as well as the rooted Android smartphone so if you are non-rooted still this tricks will gonna work for you so before proceeding on your Android smartphone just go to the phone settings and after going to the phone settings just scroll down below and you can see here about phone right just tap on it and here you can see software information just tap on it now under the software information you can see a build number right so just keep tapping on it so you can see here in my case it's a developer mode has already been turned on so just keep tapping it like seven eight times until you see a pop-up showing a developer option is turned on or not so just enable the developer options then after that you can see your developer options below you can see in my case just open it and now just scroll down below and you will see one option here USB debugging right just enable this option on your Android smartphones now after doing all this on your Android smartphones what you need to do is on your respective computer whether you are using a Windows Mac or Linux just open any web browser and just download two applications the the first application as you can see here this is our ADP platform tool so below you can see here the SDK platform tool or the ADP platform tools whatever you want to call it for Windows and if you're using a Mac then you can just click on here and you can get it for Linux too so I have already provided the download link of this website in the video description so you can click there and download for your respective operating system so the next applications you need to download is a uh, universal Android debloater so this is the app developer official website so just scroll down below and you can see your assets and just below the assets you will see uh, tons of files right so if you're using a Linux then you can download for Linux and if you're using a Mac computer then you can download for Mac OS and if you're using a Windows below you can see some applications are available for Windows so if you're using a Windows I will highly recommend to download this UAD GUI so it is a graphical user interface so I will highly recommend to download this last one if you're using a Windows and if you're using a Mac then you can download any one from here and if you're using a Linux still you can download any one whatever you like so I'll be providing the this applications download link to in the video description so you can click there and visit to this official website so after downloading both this applications just unzip the first application which I have shown you the platform tools that is the ADB platform tools which is in the zip format so just extract it and after that just open the extracted folder so here you will see uh, tons of files right so you can see in the here in the address bar just click on it and just type cmd and just hit enter now it will open the command from with the selected location so you can see here it will directly select the this directory locations as you can see here it has been selected so you can minimize it right now right so 
now connect your android smartphone using your usb data cable with your respective computer then after that on the command from just type adb space devices so just type this command adb space devices and hit enter wait for a few seconds so once you see a list of device attached and you will see a serial number of your android smartphones and you can see like that then that means your android smartphone has been connected successfully with your respective computer so after doing this what you need to do is now just go to the folder where you have downloaded the second application that is the universal android deep loader so you can see here uh, this application right so now just copy or move this UAD GUI windows or if in your case it's a Mac then you can do the same tricks I will just copy it you can move also if you wish and just paste it or move it to the ADB platform tools folder which you have extracted so I'll just paste it so you can see here I have pasted it here right so once you have moved or paste this second application that is the universal android deep loader applications on the adb platform tools extracted folder so just double left click on this application that is the universal android deep loader to start this application wait for a few seconds so you can see here it's showing all the applications that is available on your android smartphones right so you can see here above it's detected my Android smartphone model so you can see I'm using a Samsung M42 so this is the model number so here you can see here some options like recommended right so just click on it and just select all and it will show you all the applications that is present on your Android smartphones and here just click on all packages and here just keep it as all list so now let us move back to the our Android smartphone so you can see here I, I want to remove the Netflix and the OneDrive applications right so here on the universal Android deep loader I'll just try to search for Netflix let me type in Netflix so here you can see here so here you can see our Netflix right so just let me select this and here above also you can see your Netflix so just let me select both this file and now let me click on uninstall now you can see on my Android smartphone the Netflix has been removed right so if you want to restore it back or install it back just you can click on restore to install it back so right now I don't want it so I'll just keep it as it is and the second application I want to remove is the OneDrive so let me search there OneDrive so here in my case mainly the OneDrive's package name is the SkyDrive so you can see here so the package name is maybe different so if you find difficulty in finding the package name then you can just download a package viewer from the Google Play Store which I will be leaving in the video description also about the applications so I'll just select this SkyDrive which is the package name for the OneDrive and after that I'll just click on uninstall for a few seconds voila now you can see here I have successfully removed the apps that can be uninstalled from my non-rooted android smartphones very easily so if you never known about this cool tricks to forcefully remove any apps that can be uninstalled in any non-rooted android smartphones then you should definitely give it a try so if you find this video tutorial useful please click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to our channel click on the subscribe button and lastly thanks for watching